Hi, everyone. So um, while Lewis and Mike are busy, um, here's another video for you just to keep you uh, entertained. I thought I'd do a video on the topic of best bang for the money under 5,000 Canadian. Um, again, we get a lot of requests about, you know, what do you, uh, can you recommend something, uh, speakers, streamers, integrated amps, uh, under a certain budget, and generally speaking, for some reason, $5,000 uh, Canadian seems to be the uh, the, the line uh, that, that people are comfortable with. So I thought, okay, well, rather than constantly responding to emails, I'll just do the video. And then the next time I get an email, I'll just say, watch this link. <laughs> so let's start with uh, streamers. This company came out of nowhere and has just exploded the audio market. I don't know how they did it. It's a company called Eversolo. Um, the distributor, who's a friend of ours, uh, emailed me uh, a while ago when she picked up the line and she said, you got to check out this line. And of course, I got really busy and never did. And then a couple of months later, I decided to, to investigate into it and uh, was shocked at how well that product has just taken off. There's tons and tons of reviews on, on YouTube and online and so on. Anyway, it's Eversolo. The, um, the streamer, specifically, it's called the DMP A6 Master. Now, they've got two versions, the Master Edition and then Regular Edition. In our store, the Master Edition outsells the Regular Edition by literally about 10 to 1, maybe even more. Um, partly, I think, because the dollar difference is not dramatic, and partly because the Master Edition is under 2000, 1999. So again, it's a psychological thing, perhaps. Anyway, it's very, very good. It's got a beautiful uh, display. It's got all kinds of really good parts in it, and it sounds good. It's got a slightly mellow sound, at least in our systems, that I've heard so far, and I like it. I certainly like it for the money. It's easy to use. Um, unlike some other streamers I've tried in the past where they sound great, but they're fussy to work with and things like this. Anyway, I like this. Uh, for for $2,000, great buy. For one level higher, consider the Inuwas Pulse, um, which came out, I want to say about nine months ago. I don't think it's been a year, but fairly recently. It's a superb uh, streamer. Certainly competitive with almost anything under $10,000. It's simple. It's just a black box. There's no fancy stuff, no display. Um, so in that sense, it's more Spartan than the Ever Solo. But the sound is incredible. I really like it. It's got a beautiful lit up sound, very clear, articulate, doesn't sound bright transparency for days, all the Audifal stuff that you like. Um, and of course, Inuos' own app, the Inuos Sense, is fantastic. Clients of mine who've done comparisons between that and the uh, Rune uh, much prefer the Sense, Inuos' own app. I, I typically tend to use Rune just because I've been so used to using Rune that I just don't switch. But when we do sell one, I always tell clients, download the app and listen to it and then compare it to Rune if you've got Rune and see what you prefer. And I've not yet had a client tell me they prefer the Rune over the Inuos' own um, app. So that's another one. Cost is $48.99 Canadian. Okay, next, integrated amplifiers. We sell a lot of really good integrated amps under $5,000. i am just going to highlight three. Um, at $25.99, the NameNate 5SI. This NameNate's been around a long time. It used to be a, a much simpler, small, rec more of a, a small half-size box. Now the Nate 5SI is more of a full-size. Again, it's been around quite a bit, but it's a fantastic, extremely musical integrated amplifier. E even to untrained uh, uh, non-audiophile listeners, when you play for them and then you compare it to something else, the one thing you'll notice is that they'll start moving their body. It's just a very infectious sounding integrated amplifier. Puts out 60 watts per channel, so it's not a huge amount of power. Doesn't have a huge amount of current, so you, you, you don't really want to drive speakers under 4 ohms. But within 4 to 8 ohms, it's beautiful. The other one is the Hegel H190. Um, especially now. The H190 is normally about 40, 48, 4900 Canadian dollars. Um, the factory announced a sale. You can see a video that I did. Uh, Allison, we did a video on, on that, didn't we? Yeah, okay, Allison will put a, a link below. When the factory had overstock, I guess they just 
ordered way too many and it all arrived at the same time and um, so they decided to have a factory uh, clear out deal where it went from $4,800 or $4,900 down to $3,200 Canadian dollars. And we sold tons. I mean, we literally can't keep them in stock. I just keep ordering, ordering, ordering. Anyway, um, the factory just announced that as of probably end of next week, they will be sold out and then the deal is done. Um, so I ordered as many as I could just basically so that uh, for those of you who've been lagging behind and been wanting to buy one, you still have an opportunity as long as we still have stock. For $3,200, I literally cannot think of a better deal. It's cheaper than the H120, um, which is one level below. Uh, so anyway, uh, 150 watts per channel, very high damping factor. So if your speakers are a little bit wooly sounding, bass a little bit uncontrolled, this is a very, very, very good integrated amp. And it's got a DAC built in. Anyway, the other one I really like a lot is the PS Audio Stella Strata. Um, it's an all-in-one built-in uh, built integrated amp. It's got a DAC, a streamer, um, everything. All you need to do is hook up speakers and away you go. Um, it's also rated 150 watts per channel. In comparison to the Hegel, it's a little bit lighter sounding. It has more high frequency. I don't want to say exaggeration because it's not. It's not bright. It's it's more it's more top down rather than sort of bottom up like the Hegel sounds. So Hegel sounds a little bit darker sounding, whereas the uh, uh, the the PS audio is more uh, uh, lighter sounding. Um, the other thing I really like about the PS Audio is that the DAC inside is superb, absolutely superb. Uh, I've, I've listened to a bunch of different DACs, and then whenever I go back to the PS Audio, I really, really like it. So that's another one, also rated 150 watts per channel, and it's $41.99. Um, and then speakers. This speaker is over $5,000, but I like it so much I can't help but mentioning it as a caveat. The MoFi Source Point 10 with stands is $56.99 Canadian. Um, it's full range, it's powerful, especially in the bass because of that big woofer. I love what it sounds like. The image is, is pinpoint sharp, um, and it's just so good sounding. I really like it, it's, and it's a, it's, it, it also sounds rich. Uh, unlike a lot of speakers where the uh, front baffle is narrow and it can therefore sound a little bit thin, I find that the MoFi is just so natural, so neutral. I really, really like it. And it's so well made. You pick the thing up and you know. Um, so that's one speaker and it's $56.99. So as I say, over $5,000. Um, another more conventional speaker, the Sonus Faber Lumen. Uh, Lumina, sorry, Lumina 5. Um, beautiful Italian quality, smooth, rich, but with balls. So the Lumina series, I, I, I'm postulating here, I'm guessing, and I could be wrong, but just based on what we hear, the Lumina is more of a... It, it, it was designed for a price range that is more to, to attract the, 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 the larger market. So... It's not quite as neutral as the Sonetto series, not quite as refined, but ballsy and dynamic. And you know, so if you like to listen to R&B, rap, rock and roll, it'll do all that. And it's still sweet enough that it'll do your classical and jazz so well. Um, I think the Lumina in some ways is so much fun to listen to. Anyway, uh, another speaker to listen to, uh, to, to, to look at, it's 4100 Canadian. Um, if you can accommodate panel speakers, the MagnaPens are, and you like what the MagnaPens do, there's literally nothing anywhere near its price. You could double and triple it, and you still will not get the strengths of the MagnaPen. The LRS Plus in particular, for the money, $1399. Just stunning speakers. To this day, we still sell them regularly. So hard to get them in stock, but if you can find a dealer who has a pair and you like them, snatch them. Don't think about them, because you go back and the dealer won't have any stock. And you might have to wait uh, 12 to 14 weeks. Um, for a f uh, for more full range sound, the 1.7s, uh, I think that's a sweet spot in the lineup because for uh, just under 4,000, 39.95, you've got more than enough bass for most people. You've got this effortless tall sound stage. Um, the image is more real because it's taller, um, 
And it's still so coherent because all the sound comes from that same panel. Um, so just a fantastic speaker. All right, so so I mean, if, if, you, if you look at what I've recommended, you could literally pick a superb sounding system for $10,000. Superb sounding system for $10,000 very, very easily from any of these suggestions. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps some of you who are looking for choices as far as uh, systems are concerned. This is obviously based around things that we carry. I, I don't carry everything in the world, so I can't obviously tell you what some other brands sound like and so on, although the ones that we have tried that we don't carry, um, I still prefer what we have. Um, so anyway, hopefully this helps, and uh, we'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.